closer. Still, not really much has happened. Minute and 10 seconds on the clock. Sparrow about to peak. Will spot Crisby going for the smoke. That'll be a bit of a giveaway. He'll be able to call out to the team that the push is coming through. Marky leading that push gets dropped first. The first casualty of the game. PHR is back behind the dice box trying to provide some support. And AGO just guns them down. Groovy and Spiro make it look easy. Eventually, he goes flying out in front of the smoke. And he does see one. Takes a little bit of damage in exchange. Sparrow... Meanwhile, found a kill with his AWP. There's Furland connecting through the edge of the bathroom wall as the push continues towards this A site. And as of yet, no success for the Unicorns of Love. Denim. There's Sparrow with the shutdown. It's going to be pistols coming in from the German side. Deagles across the board. A classic deco, not one we see all that often. We do see it from time to time. Furland able to find the first two over towards the B site. PHR backs off along. Smoke's going to go down. Kirby might eat some of that nade damage just a little bit. There's the peak on long, but PHR gets a nice little haircut from the Deagle. Off shots off the mark as well. This is looking pretty promising for the T side. Another kill coming in as Crisby has now found three. Furland and Caper trying to get back in. Again, these guys are still armorless, so they got that going for them. There's a flashbang coming out. It's the only utility that they really had. CT side does have a double flash and a smoke. So they can smoke down the bomb, and that's exactly what they decide to do. There's one more further back. They, they got to know that he's over here. At this point, they're going to take the peak with them. Yeah, it's pretty much an easy retake there. Furland finds four kills on the round. Crisby's entries looked promising with the Deagle, but they just weren't able to make it happen. Fast push in towards the B site. Unicorns of Love give up the slow, methodical approach and just try to get in with sheer speed. Right off the bat, they do lose to the duels, and Furland's able to get there in time to spot the bomb. It's another big round for Furland. He's actually going to cap off another 4K. That's back to back 4Ks from Furland. Interesting heaven smoke that Marky just threw. You intentionally collide with walls, and it kind of just lines you up. In they go towards the B site, though. Caper lets them right past up the bridge. Meanwhile, Furland, though, is still over by the pipes, or by the barrels, excuse me, and he's able to put down some serious damage yet again. When Furland stays alive, I'll tell you what, this team looks so much different. KZY, the last man standing, as Furland puts up 18 total kills. This bomb. Finally, the bomb is going to go down. It looks like they want to go with the head boost over the top. Denim will be the one to jump up and see you later. Nice shot from Furland, making up for the missed shot on Crisby earlier. Caper's just going to hide in the corner. And now it's Kirby in a one-on-two. Caper really should not peek this one. His teammate's so low on HP. They hear the molly ticks, and there it is. Instant death for Furland, but a follow-up from Caper as the Polish side picks up the pistol. Sparrow will likely make first contact here as they sit in connector. Yeah, he's going to spot one. He knows they're there. Groovy actually will find the first kill. Door goes open, and oh, there's a totem pole. And it's easy money for Sparrow. Rule number one of any stack in a round like this, always aim for the bottom. <laughs> Smoke's coming in towards A. Sparrow right on the other side of this one. Kirby waiting for him. Crisby on site, who's gobbling them up, though. Daisy Y does get on the board. Oh. The spray down, not really where it needs to be. Caper, with just a few bullets left, able to get that fourth kill on the round as he tap, tap, taps over towards Denim. Molly's going to go in. Denim trying to get in position to play defense. PHR is dead. That's the easy kill. But look at this, the MAC-10 close. He's probably going to find another, and he does. Denim. Trying to now get back in, and it's all up to Denim. Denim does find one kill. He's going to have to pick up a huge clutch here, picking up four more. It would be the clutch ace. And, yeah, it's just not going to happen. 
So that will take us to our first break as AGO make somewhat quick work of the Unicorns of Love. Spots one coming through the smoke does only a little bit of damage. He caught him as his foot came through. Dennis able to get out in front of that smoke and find the kill, but it's traded out quickly by Narod. It'll be Mirbit and Searson two on two as they try to move in closer. That smoke down on sight's making it a little bit difficult to move. Mirbit's gonna get spotted. I don't think he actually realized he saw the second target as they boost up over the box. Does Mirvit go up over the top? Yes, he does, but Maddie is there to greet him. Molly's gonna go in towards sight. They don't anticipate the boost. Faman, though, he has no help from the rest of his team. It's a little bit of a difficult position to be put in. Now, Speedy's gonna move in. The UMP does run low on ammo, but it's great damage, all things considered, with the UMP. Oh, the CZ from Mir. He's able to sneak up on him. Mirvit should be able to catch this player in sight towards default, completely off guard, if only he were to push in further. He decides to stop behind the big box, and that'll give the Polish side time to react. I don't think they're going to anticipate him already being here, so the bomb should get planted momentarily. There's the kill, and now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Op versus AK. He knows this op is over here, but it doesn't matter. And Speedy's just going to push up on it, and that'll cost him his life. Dennis, in the meantime, did start to sneak away, back away from the site. He's able to get back by quad box, though, so this puts him in prime position if the push should come through. Nice shot coming in from Searson as the AWP connects. The AWP struggles, but a transfer of recoil is all it takes. It's all up to Matty on site by himself with a jumping headshot with the Glock. Able to take down Dennis. It's Mirbit and Searson with 20 seconds left. Matty's on site, and he's got himself a rifle. He's getting flanked by Mirbit, who's only got an AWP. There's an AWP in front of him, but a dual AWP retake isn't exactly the most ideal bomb. Dedicated... On the site. No fake plants today. Searson right around the corner. Barrel might show first. There's the kill. The second op was picked up in main. And Mirbit hears him over towards Quanbox. Again, this is that awkward scenario you're in with that double op on the retake. Doesn't matter. CZ's all he needs. Sprout steal the round away. Right over on the B site. That's Searson going down. But again, Mirbit's able to sneak around inside checkers. The problem is that he only anticipates one player. Tries to turn back. Bobbin somehow sneaks his way in, gets a kill, and actually finds himself onto the site. Now, the player on site with him is also blind, but it doesn't matter. Izako Boris go for a fast play towards the B site, something we haven't seen them do. They change the pace, and it completely catches Sprout off guard. Play towards the A site right now with three players there. We've got T-Sec. We're by Forklift. The op of Nex is there as well, and Petty Tech is now working against Bomb is now moving towards the B site. And you've got Navrot here who's really struggling to stay alive. So does his teammate, Matty. Now, one's already dropped in. Searson with the rare whiff, but it's a follow-up shot coming in from Dennis to try and anchor things down. They do get the bomb planted. This is a difficult retake. Speedy, meanwhile, with an op of his own over an A main as the smoke fades. Paddy Tech is taken down. Molly goes in, and Speedy with another nice shot on the leaping target of next. That's the op down. And the A site potentially lost here. Izako Boris, not exactly looking fantastic as Speedy is picking them apart with the AWP. Does he just stick in this Molly? No. Starts to. Decides to smoke it off. The flank finally comes through, and it's all up to Maddie. It's a one on four. As the smoke pops, Maddie watches his corpse just land on the pavement. A quick kill comes out from the AWP. Meanwhile, over on B, they're pushing up with a Deagle, but Searson's there to catch Navrot before he can make it into Sunroom. There's only one player on A. It'll be Patty Tech, who's playing back by Forklift with the Deagle. Oh, nice shot. Started to change position, catches Dennis through the edge of the box. Decision given that he's only here with the Deagle. So he's trying to use the smoke to give him some cover and wait for his teammate to get into position to help him out. The bomb is going to be planted momentarily. And all he's got is this Deagle to work with. It's all about whether or not he spots this player fork, and he does. Nice shot onto the AWP of Searson. That'll make things a little bit easier as the AWP is now getting into, or the AK, excuse me, is getting into position coming in through A main. There's the Deagle shot missed. These shots are so incredibly close. Finally tags Speedy, but they catch him on the reload. And now Nex, who's out A main with that AK. These guys need to just be careful that they don't peek the same thing at the same time. Well played by Favin. Just get around the other side of the box. Continue to play Ring Around the Rosie with them. Force them into this game of dance. 
And unfortunately for Izako Boris, despite finding all the eliminations, it's not a round they're going to take. And he's just at his ankles. Finally, the bomb will be planted. And there's the nade. Good utility discipline right now from Izako Boris, but Searson overextends the peak. That'll put all the pressure onto Speedy. Now, Speedy did find the first kill. He's got himself a flashbang. He's just going to peek in front of it. I like the play, and he's got the clutch. Speedy with a 3K right at the end. Oh, does he know? Does he know? He didn't hear him. He, didn't hear him. he should have heard that step just beneath him. They're actually going to boost up themselves. Oh, my God. That's awkward. That's a little uncomfortable. Mirbit and Dennis are all that remains. Now, Mirbit's gotten an entry over on the A site. He's got a flashbang, but he's got to be careful. Yeah, exactly. He peeks wide, not anticipating someone being there. The door has been shut figuratively and literally sort of uh, you know abandon this this slow burn just get in there quick down to timing whether or not he gets shot from the player backside three and there you go that's the kill they needed that puts nex in a really uncomfortable position he's got to keep his head on a swivel Favin's able to get up past the m4 shots but nex is still in position back here on quad Favin will find the kill and now they're thinking hey we can actually go towards b just kidding. Favin finds the last kill of the round. 16 to 12. An impressive comeback from Sprout after being down 11 to 4.